汉语拼音 ，Scheme for the Chinese Phonetic Alphabet, Part Two. In this video, I'll show you the town location maps of all the Chinese pinyin initials. Keep your town the right place according to the map. And also pay attention to the lips, wear the air out, and the vocal cords. Now follow me. Bo, bo, po, po, mo. Mo, fo, fo, de, de, te, te, ne. N, l, l, g, g, k, k, h, h. G, G, C, 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 C. Attention. The surface of the tongue touches the hard palate when pronouncing G and C. While qi brings out a strong air flow, ji doesn't. When xi is pronounced, the surface of the tongue approaches the hard palate without reaching it, leaving a gap in between. Zhi. Zhi. 吃，吃，湿，湿，日，日。When saying 吃 and 吃 ，the tongue tip first touches the hard palate, and then. Opens a gap to let the air flow. Ch comes with a much stronger air flow, but zh doesn't. When saying sh, the tongue tip doesn't touch the hard palate, leaving a gap all alone. And r is pronounced with the vocal cords vibrating. Z, z, c, c, s, s. When pronouncing z and the c, the front part of the tongue tip touches the inner surface of the upper teeth. And then immediately parts with it, forming a gap in between. Z 
is pronounced with no strong air flow, while c comes with an obvious air flow. When pronouncing s, the front part of the tongue tip stays away from the inner surface of the upper teeth all along, leaving a gap for the air flow to get through. Now let's compare these two groups of initials. The first group, z, ch, sh, r, are a series of cacuminals, which are pronounced with the tongue tip turned up, and coordinating with the front part of the hard palate. The second group, j, ch, sh, are known as coronals. They are pronounced with the surface of the tongue touches or approaches the hard palate. Compared to the first group, the second group are dentals. Let's read them again. J, Z, Ch, Sh, Ch, Sh, 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 Sh,